Hello everyone, welcome to Danny Tree Frog Reviews. Over a year ago, I talked about the Game Boy Color version of Frogger through a portable difference video. Basically, I concluded that it was an alright port of the original arcade Frogger game, with just with a different coat of paint and different art style, but it was lacking compared to what the Game Boy could do. Well, believe it or not, this wasn't the only Nintendo Frogger that came out at the time, as there was an SNES version of the game. While the Super Nintendo wasn't quite as powerful as the PS1 and PC, it was obviously more powerful than the Game Boy Color, so there was more potential here. Did this game live up to that potential and did they really push the power of the Super Nintendo? What the heck do you think? This is even more lackluster than the freaking Game Boy Color version! Well, that was just a beautiful sound. I'd love to hear it over and over again in each level. Now here are a list of things that are better about the Super Nintendo version over the Game Boy Color version. The graphics... That's it. I mean, the water has kind of a neat effect. I guess. But if you have seen my review on the Game Boy Color version of this game, I talked about how there was kind of a lack of music for the game. I did not give it enough credit though, because this one, on the more powerful system, has no music. No music whatsoever, not even when you reach a goal, not even when you start the game, nothing. All this is, is a lackluster straight port of the original arcade Frogger. The only kind of effort they put into this was making sure the controls were alright, and the art style of the vehicles and the water and all that stuff. At the very least, they could have changed up where you have to get to the goals, maybe changed up the enemy types, and maybe had different art style for each, like every five levels or so. But no, they went with this. This is just a sad way for the Super Nintendo to go out. Yeah, fun fact for you. This was the very last officially released Super Nintendo game, at least here in North America. Now, once again, like I said in my review for the Game Boy version of this game, I love Frogger, I love the arcade game. But this version had a lot more going for it. This version could have been a lot more. It just wasn't. If they were just going to have the arcade version of this game, they should have just had the arcade version of this game with the 8-bit graphics and the music and everything. Sure, it still would have been a little lackluster for a Super Nintendo game, but at least it would have been a little more true to itself. All this is basically what the Genesis version did, because Genesis did what Nintendo didn't. You gotta, you gotta think past tense about this. So yeah, overall, kind of a meh version of this game. It could have had a lot more going for it. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry if the video seemed a little lackluster due to the, well, lackluster version of Frogger. But maybe the fact that this video is shorter is okay, maybe? Well anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, and remember, this is Danny Tree Frog with Danny Tree Frog Reviews.